So you've seen my video where I demonstrate the contactless payment implant. Uh, somebody left a comment, according to them it's a closed loop payment system, but it wasn't. It's the same type of contactless payment terminal you, like you would find in a supermarket. So um, it's not misinformation. Uh, how I did it, I ordered a, a contactless payment uh, um, keychain from my bank and I took this uh, contactless uh, payment chip and had it converted to an implant. Mine is actually a prototype. Um, it was the first one. And I had it implanted in my left hand uh, at a piercing shop. And that's what it looks like uh, when it's healed. And here I'm just demonstrating my contactless payment implant uh, um, yeah, using it uh, with different uh, contactless payment terminals in different places, in, in stores, in snack bars, um, restaurants, delivery guy. Just to demonstrate that it's not a closed loop payment system. It also works abroad, uh, like in Germany. It's a different uh, vending machine, a different place. And if the amount is above 50 euros, you have to enter a PIN code. Thanks for watching. Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham Rakakodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone that taught us his truth and who rule well. Peace and love, salutations and mercy be unto you, hopefully, like Akim, that are the priests of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. And are hazarding your lives to push his truth, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Bible, prophesying. Magnifying the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, Yahweh being the name, the true name of our Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai being the true name of the only begotten Son, the Redeemer, and the Savior, the Messiah for the nation of Israel, beginning with the hopeful elect. Great judgment is in the earth, and it's the judgment of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and great judgment is coming. And when Yahweh Shai, Lord and Savior, whom is on the way, when he returns, he's come to bring great judgment. So knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men and we're persuading you to repent being Israelites to whom is given the covenants, the promises, all right, the promises that were promised unto our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, are right, the kingdom of heaven, salvation. And if you want to receive those things, you must repent. All right, you must work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, and you must give diligence to make your calling and election sure. To the rest of you believers that are out there, you Akim and few Akwathium that make up the rest of the hopeful elect, a peace be unto you in Shalom, and may Yahweh Bashmi Shai have mercy upon you and your households. Now that the devil is saying it, all right, will you believe? This lesson is going to be about the MOTB, which has and has become an everyday conversation. All right, you can't go a day without discussing. Are right, the MOTB, which is the RFID CHIP and the brain CHIP. And it's not like it, as if this is some hitting, you know, a, a topic or some hidden agenda, you know, to the point where it's 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 questionable of, of what it may be. All right, we always knew, beginning with our apostles and elders at Great Millstone, because this particular thing has been revealed through the Holy Spirit. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemiah what it is. But to the rest of you that are out there that struggle, 
with the idea of what the MOT may MOTB may be. Uh, you have individuals shouting philosophies, the philosophies of Esau Edom. You have individuals shouting that is is dealing with white women. Uh, you got individuals that are that are heralding and shouting, you know, that is Christianity. All right, well, none of these things make sense of what the MOTB is truly is. Because how in the hell are you going to buy and sell with Christianity? You know, through the spirit, a point was made that within America, all right, within this particular government, they don't have a, a one set religious or a system in which they are forced all right, through their through their, their their laws. All right, according to the Constitution, they can't favor one religion over another. You know, so Christianity is not a set religion that's here that will be implemented as a as an economic system that allows you to buy and sell. So to say that that's the MOTB, that's dead. And then when it comes down with philosophy, all right, how is that system going to work? How, how are you going to buy and sell with philosophy? How? What you going to go up to a system and it's going to read your mind and it's going to, it's going to, uh, um, you know, uh, basically the, the machine is a psychic, you know, and the, and the, and the psychic machine knows if you are down with America or not. All right. In fact, when you go to a machine, it will read people's mind. And that's the people that have the, the brain implant. All right. The brain CHIP. That's how it's going to read your mind or it's going to read your hands or wherever else you might have, you know, this particular CHIP inside of your body. All right. The devil himself. All right. Which is Esau Edom, the self-proclaimed white man is coming out and showing you that this is his agenda. They're not, they're not a, um, what is that word? <laughs> in, in, inconspicuous. It's not inconspicuous anymore. And the definitions of inconspicuous is not clearly visible or attracting attention. Not conspicuous. All right. When something is conspicuous, then basically you, you can, you can see what it is. All right. It's easily seen. All right. So now the system that they're that they're establishing is conspicuous. It's not a hidden thing. All right. There's a bill, an executive order all right, to establish a digital currency, a one world, uh, um, um, a central bank digital currency, which ultimately is going to turn into a one world system. All right. All of the nations around the world is going to be running and operating on the same system. And the only way to be involved in that is to receive a CHIP, all right, a brain CHIP or, or uh, um, RFID CHIP, however it may look, because there's different forms of them out there. All right, you got some that are flat. You got some that looks just like the, uh, the ones that's in the credit card. You have others that's in the, in the uh, glass cylinder. But ultimately, this is the MOTB system. And it's right in front of your face. And, and they're not hiding it anymore. They're actually talking about it. And matter of fact, when you go to particular articles, you know, and this one comes from the WEF, the WEF, which you should know who they are by now. All right. With the with the evil villain, you know, uh, uh, Cotton Schwab. They have something called augmented reality, right? That's AR, AR technology. That would be things like the metaverse, you know, but then you have things like the Oculus, which allows you to connect to, you know, uh, AR. All right. You have other particular things that are out there, other platforms as well. So that's particular augmented reality. But then they have something called augmented society. And what is augmented society? Augmented society is these IOB devices which connects you to the internet of bodies. It connects you as a person. All right. Being a, 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 interfla a interface, it connects you to the internet. It, it connects your body. All right. To, you know, the internet, which you may have a IOB device that uh, allows you to 
you know, um, move your arms. You might have an IOB device that allows you to see colors. You might suffer from uh, um, heart problems and the IOB helps you with your heart. You might suffer from an allergy. All right, you got a peanut allergy. So the IOB device picks up and senses something that has uh, peanuts in it. All right, they're selling this to you as if this is life-saving technology. And that's just Esau Edom being the devil that he is trying to play the savior. But really it's not to save you, it's to enslave you. Really it's not to save you, it's to put you in bondage. Really it's not to save you, it's to subjugate you. So reading in this article, it says, are we moving towards a brave new world? As scary as chipping plants may sound, they form part of a natural evolution that wearables once underwent. You know, so at some point in time, they're trying to say, all right, some pop, somebody somewhere was scared to put a Bluetooth in their ear. You know, but, but they overcame that. Somebody was scared about a hearing aid, you know, or, or glasses, you know, that can, that can um, you know, help you to see or to navigate. But they overcame that particular stigma. It says hearing aids or glasses no longer carry a stigma. Their accessories and are even considered a fashion item. Likewise, implants will evolve into a commodity. So basically they're saying that it's going to become, you know, so, so, you know, people are become, going, to be going to come so used to it that it's going to be like wearing earrings. It's going to be like wearing a, some, some glasses. It's going to be a commodity. Oh, I got to have that. Like, like a uh, coveting after the new iPhone device. Oh yeah, I got to have this new uh, iMac computer. You know, I got to have this new, you know, iPhone, you know, 13 plus, you know, I got to have this new, you know, uh, um, technology. So they're saying that it's going to become a commodity, you know, like, like it's a, like it's a chain. This is something different, you know, because this is something that goes inside of your body and it also takes away your privacy or privacy as, as some brothers on the other side of the pond may say, it says, um, if that sounds unlikely, then consider the alternatives. We currently use, use uh, drugs often show unwanted effects because they affect multiple biological processes at the same time. Uh, someone on long-term medication may want to try the implant that sends very precise electrical or optical pulses instead. So they're basically saying that, look, this will be medicine too. You know, it'll be able to, you know, cure, cure your, your uh, chronic ailments. You know, the ones that you, you got in the sickly and, 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 you know, the infrastructure of this world, you know, the food, you know, all of this, you know, the pollution, you know, the, the, the foods is calling, causing diseases, but guess what? This, this is going to be the cure to that. Getting an implant is obviously more ev invasive than picking up a pair of glasses. Generally, implants will be likened to medical conditions. The extent to which a particular device becomes common will depend on the technology's functionality and how fair it, integ it integrated into your body and daily lifestyle. Carrying around the equivalent, you know what? Let me, let me jump down. I said that I will jump down, skip past that. Jumping down to here, it says brain implants take us one step further and allows us to tap straight into the body's operating system. We have already started interfacing with the brain using uh, neural probes to mitigate symptoms of epilepsy, Parkinson's disease, or depression. Most applications will remain based on medical necessity rather than a mind reading tool. While it is true that companies like Neuralink have been targeting the brain from the get-go, brain implants may not be the first choice in our augmented society. Uh, reading on, it says an indis indispensable wearable device may be implanted under the skin as a first approach of, or in the belly if needed. For examples, for patients suffering from urine loss, small stimu stimulation device tucked away in the pelvic area, area constitutes a more elegant and comfortable solution than wearing uh, incontinence pads, which means that you can't 
being incontinent mean that you have no control. I mean, in old times, it was used to deal with the person that had no self-control, you know, over their themselves, which means that they can't rule their mind. You know, they're given to their desires or right? they're given to their, their uh, sensual desires or whatever the desire is. So they have no no self-government. Now they use it in a, in a means of saying that someone can't control their piss, you know, so they, they just piss on themselves. Reading on, it says next, there may be other implants that influence the nerves of the peripheral nervous system or the the information highways that connect the spinal cord and the brain to organs and limbs. So basically they're saying that we can even give people their mo mobility back, you know, because the information highway is dealing with the spine that has different nerves that travel from the brain throughout the body. All right. So it sends signals all over, you know, it's, if you want to move your arm, you know, a, the, the, the signal goes from, the brain down the information highways throughout the nervous system, you know, which goes to uh, uh, the, the muscles, which the brain is telling the muscles to contract, you know, to be able to pull, you know, the arm back and forth or to move your fingers or to move your legs, you know, or to jump or to run. So they're basically saying that they will give people back this particular mobility through their implants. Electrical stimulation of the, the vagus nerves and the superhighway uh, that originates in the brain is rumored to be a miracle therapy for treatment, uh, treatment, resistant depression, and overgrowing problems. Despite all these options, some therapies will only be effective in the brain. But uh, would you walk around with a chip in your head? Now, that's a question. So, you know, there's much more to read, you know, within this article. You know, and then when you go over to Google and you and you type in, you know, pain, because that's just one aspect, you know, the, the, the medical aspect. But then you have the financial aspect as well, which um, all of this talk of going cashless, you know, uh, um, using touchless payments, you know, to slow down the process of, of, of diseases spreading, you know, or sickness spreading. You know, that's another selling point that they're going to use, you know, to uh, get people to receive this uh, particular device, you know, or devices. Now, you can type in uh, paying with hands in Google and it says Amazon one lets you pay with the palm. See, that's just another tool to get you used all right, to it. But then you have something through uh, MasterCard. You have something, you know, uh, through, you know, um, I'm trying to think of the other one. But anyways, the two prominent ones that are out there, you know, in regards to reading biometrics is, is Amazon as well as MasterCard. But then... You have the technology that's out there that allows you to pay with microchip implants, all right? In a, a well-known country that's using this right now, you have um, Sweden, all right? You have, um, you know, other places as well, and it's become a, a very popular thing all around the world, see? So now that the devil said it, will you believe it? The book of Romans 10 and 21, but Israel, and matter of fact, let me go and grab it in the, in the blue letter. It says, but, but to Israel, he said, all that they long have I stretched forth my hands unto a disobedient and gainsaying people. What does it mean to be disobedient? That means that you refuse to believe. You have all of this evidence that's in front of your face. You have all of this information that you are hearing and you refuse to believe what you're seeing with your sight and what you're hearing with your ears. The word there for disobedient is G544, apatheo, and it says not to allow oneself to be persuaded. All right. What does it mean to be persuaded? To call someone to do something through reasoning or argument. 
So all the day long, have your hawa, all right? Stretch forth his hands unto you. And how is he stretching forth his hands unto you? By way of the prophets. But guess what? You're not allowing yourselves to believe, all right? And it also mentions a gainsaying people. What does it mean to gainsay? To speak against, gainsay, contradict. Because although we're bringing out the facts or we have brought out the facts, you have Israelites that are out there that have contradicted the things that we have said, you know, and brought out lies. You know, you got a, a, a oh, it's June. Ain't no microchip. It's June. All right. The, the RFID chip is not the, 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 the MOTB. The MOTB is dating white women. All right. King Solomon had the mark. Come on, man. This is ridiculous. All right. The beast wasn't even set up during the time of King Solomon. So for you to say all of these contradicting statements, it shows with spirit that you're coming in, which is not the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. The scriptures say in the book of Proverbs 28 and 14, happy is the man that fear always, but he that hear, hardeneth his heart shall fall into mischief. And that's the reason why the scriptures say, let the blind lead the blind, and they both shall fall into the ditch. Because you have hardened your hearts. All right? You have uh, uh, um, been disobedient and gainsaying towards the words of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, in which he has been warning you through the mouth of the prophets. But as it was stated within 2 Nezis 12 and 38, and teach them unto the wise of the people whose hearts thou knowest may comprehend and keep these secrets and what are the secrets the wisdom knowledge and understanding now when you go into the book of revelation 13 and 16 and he calls of all both small and great rich and poor to free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name here is wisdom all right what did it say in the book of uh, 2 Ezra 12 and 38, and teach them to, unto the wise of the people whose heart thou knowest may comprehend and keep these secrets. Reading on, it says, let him that have understanding count the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man and his number is 603 score and six. Now, when you go into another translation, and that's the, uh, the New Living Translation, it says wisdom is needed here. Whoa. It says wisdom is needed here. Let the one with understanding solve the meaning of the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man. His number is 600, three score and six. So his number is 666. So it's let, it says what? Wisdom is needed here. So in order to find out what the MOTB system is or what the MOTB would be, you have to have wisdom. All right. It says, let the one that have understanding solve the meaning of the number of the beast. Because it's not just a number. That's not what the, the MOTB is going to be. It's not just going to be a, a 666 that's stamped on the forehead or on the hand of the followers of Esau Edom within this particular system. As well as other nations and people around the world. Is actually a particular system that they're going to set up in which they're going to put something in your brain and they're going to put something in your hand. They're going to use this particular system to X out the Messiah. It's going to, it's going to uh, be pushed through the, the medical system. All right. But it's going to have financial, you know, abilities, which means that you will be able to buy and sell with it. But when you receive it, it will put you in slavery. It will put you in subjugation under, you know, these uh, elites of the world. Now, when you go into the word for understanding, the word there is G3563. And the word there is noose. So the word understanding, it says reason in the narrow, narrow sense as the capacity for spiritual truth, the higher powers of the soul, the faculty of perceiving divine things. Of recognized goodness and of hating evil. Recognizing goodness and of hating evil. So is it is it an evil thing to receive the MOTB? 
the brain CHIP and the RFID CHIP? Yes, it is. Because it goes against the Heavenly Father. When you receive it, you're making yourself a perpetual servant into this man's system. And you're saying that you want them to be a God over you and not the Heavenly Father. It goes against the laws of the Heavenly Father. It goes against the words of the Heavenly Father. All right. The scripture says not to make a cutting or an incision in the flesh. The scripture says not to make a covenant with the heathens. The scriptures say not to uh, uh, bow down to their gods, to worship them. All right. And they have created a system. All right. Unto the beast. All right. The image unto the beast that they want uh, people to bow down and worship. They want you to uh, uh, worship this system. And then they want you to take their physical mark. But how do you get the victory over this? You get the victory over keeping the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Now, when it comes down to, you know, the, the revelation of the Bible or the secrets of the Bible, the scripture is saying 1 Corinthians 2 and 14, but the natural man receiving not the things of the spirit of Yahweh, for they are foolish unto him, neither can they know them because they are spiritually discerned. So in order to know these things, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh has to be dealing with you. He has to open up your eyes and your ears to it. But he has not opened up your eyes and your ears to it. You know, in the majority of you, have he blinded? That's the reason why you can go back to the book of Romans 10 and 18. And it says, but I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily, their sound is went into all the earth and their words unto the ends of the world. So the truth has went out. The truth concerning, you know, uh, um, who we are. All right, the Heavenly Father, His true name, the, the, His Son, His true name. We're the Israelites. All right, we're Yahweh's chosen people. Yahweh Shah was sent to redeem us. You know, the prophecies are going out. The MOTB. All right, the, uh, the time of Jacob's trouble. You know, World War III is happening. You know, or uh, getting ready to happen. All of the sound has went out. You know, the, the truth is going out. It says, but Israel, uh, uh, he said, all the day long, I've stretched forth my hand into a disobedient and gainsaying people. Now, going over here to the book of Matthew, the 13th chapter, and beginning at the ninth verse, who have ears to hear, let him hear. And the disciples came and said unto him, why speakest thou to them in parables? He answered and said unto them, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. For whosoever have to him shall be given, and he shall have more in abundance. But whosoever have not, for him shall be taken away even that he hath. Therefore speak I to them in parables, because they see and see not, and hear and they hear not. Neither do they understand. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which saith, by hearing ye shall hear and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see and shall not perceive. For this people's heart is, is wax gross, and their eyes are dull of hearing, and their ears they have closed, lest at any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears, and should understand with their hearts, and should be converted, and I shall heal them. See? So these people are blinded. you blinded, I tell you. So going on from there, because the sound has went throughout the four corners of the earth and you refuse to listen to us. All right. You didn't want to believe us. But now that Esau is showing blatantly that this is their agenda. Now will you believe? All right. Are you going to listen to the devil? The scripture say in the book of Sirach 13 and 22. When a rich man is fallen, he have many helpers. He speak of things not to be spoken and yet men justify him. The poor man slipped, and yet they rebuke him too. He spake wisely and could have no place. And that's what we're doing. We're speaking wisely, but we can have no place in your hearts. But yet you have Esau speaking things that they are not. You know, they're saying that in, the, in this NWO, you will own nothing and be happy. You know, they're speaking about, you know, you eating bugs. You know, and you got some dumb nigga somewhere justifying them. Yup, yup. You know, this is this is best. You know, you got them. Um, 
you know, speaking about the fourth industrial revolution, you know, saying that there's too many people upon the planet Earth, you know, that uh, the time has come for men to be joined with machine and, you know, and you got people that are justifying them. All right. When ultimately all of these things are for your enslavement. It says when a rich man speaketh, everyone holdeth his tongue and look what he saith. They extol it to the clouds. But if the poor man speak, they say, what fellow is this? Who the, who the hell is who the hell is this? This guy. You know, who the F is this? All right. <laughs> How is he speaking this way? Hey, that happened to our Lord and Savior. Yeah, I was shy. <laughs> you know, where did he get the authority to speak like this? You know, matter of fact, where he learned this from. <laughs> Reading on, it says, what fellow is this? And if he stumbled, they will help to overthrow him. See? But the scriptures also say in the book of Ecclesiastes, it says, then said I, this is Ecclesiastes 9 and 16, then said I, wisdom is better than strength. Nevertheless, the poor man's wisdom is despised and his words are not heard. The words of the wise man are heard and quiet more than the cry of him that ruleth among fools. So, so what we're preaching and teaching is heard, but it's only heard amongst the wise. You know, it's only heard amongst the wise. Second Ezra 12 and 38. And teach them to the wise of the people whose heart thou knowest may comprehend and keep these secrets. See, in order to get the understanding, you know, or know what particular scriptures are talking about. You know, because you have some some scriptures that are that are uh, uh, dark, you know, not in regards to the fact that they hold no light, but in, re in regards to. The, there's only certain people that can get it. That's the reason why the scripture speaks about dark sayings and parables. All right. You have prophecies that only the wise can understand. And men that's able to see it, they'll, they'll uh, uh, use the scriptures as well as, you know, uh, um, articles that may have relevancy, you know, or, or uh, videos that, that somebody may have done exposing, you know, a particular thing. And they'll make that with the scriptures to help you get an understanding of what the scripture is talking about in the time that you're living in. And you still don't get it. You still don't get it. You still can't see it. You still can't hear it. And you are stiff neck and hard headed people, man. Zechariah 7 and 11. But they refused to hearken and pulled away the shoulder. You know, get, get off of me. You know, here it is. You're trying to pull them from walking into the street and getting hit by a, a, a city bus you know and they pull the shoulder away from you all right and stop their ears that they should hit not hear so not only did they pull the shoulder away they they covered their ears so that they didn't have to hear what you were saying and eventually what happened you know roll kill all right roll kill and although that's a, a um just a, a saying you know or a metaphor to how our people are being disobedient unto Yahweh. All right, by Shimei Awashai. Here, here it is. The Lord is pulling you by the shoulder. Listen to me. I got something to say to you to warn you. But yet you, you are snatching your shoulder away. That's disrespectful. Imagine your child. You're trying to talk into your child. And your child covers their ears and snatch their, their shoulder away. What you going to do? That's disrespectful as hell. So if you're a good parent, you're going to chastise your, your child. <laughs> Reading on Zechariah 7 and 12. Yet they made their hearts as an adamant stone, lest they should hear the law and the words which Yahweh of hosts had sent in his spirit by the former prophets. Therefore came a great wrath from Yahweh of hosts. Verse 13. Therefore it came to pass that as he cried, they would not hear. So they cried and I will not hear except Yahweh of hosts. So you, you, here it is. The Lord is crying unto you by the, uh, through the, through the Holy Spirit by his prophets, because that's the spirit right there, the Holy Spirit. So through the Holy Spirit, all right, his prophets have understanding of things that are going to happen. All right. Things that are for to come and they're warning you, but you're pulling away the shoulder and closing your ears into them, which ultimately you're doing in the Tiyahawah Bashim Yahweh So the time is going to come. That in these times that you're going to call into Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to help you and assist you. 
And guess what? He's going to do the same thing to you. He's going to pull his shoulder away from you. He's going he's gonna to shut his ears. He ain't going to hear you. Because when when the, the true prophets of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai came into you in the Holy Spirit to give unto you the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai in the warning, you wouldn't you wouldn't uh listen. What did you do? You 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 were disobedient, you refused to believe, and you contradicted them by saying that they were wrong, all right, that these particular things ain't gonna happen. All right? Or are you gonna change your stand? Are you gonna get on board and you gonna repent? Which one are you gonna do? Reading on, this is uh, 2 Chronicles 36 and 16. But they mocked the messengers of Yahweh and despised his words and misused his prophets until the wrath of Yahweh arose against the people till there was no remedy. So Yahweh by Shemiah is getting ready to bring a hell of fire judgment upon this place, man. And unless you repent and believe upon Yahweh Shai and walk according to the words of Yahweh by Shemiah all right, uh, like the scriptures say, you know, if you walk according to the fear of the Lord, you will perfect holiness. All right. Uh, um, the scripture speaks that if you keep the testimony of Yahweh Shai, all right, you're going to overcome. So you have to grow in fear of Yahweh. That way you can grow in his grace. And, and, and hopefully he would deliver you from the judgments that are coming upon the earth. Now, this is 2 Thessalonians 2 and 8. Because in that article, they mentioned all of the different things that they can do according to their pseudoscience to help people with their ailments and conditions. But those things are not really uh, uh, healing you of your sicknesses and your diseases. It ain't nothing but a band-aid to the problem. That's it. It's just, it's just tricking your mind to think that the ailment isn't there, but really it's still there. All right, all of the miracles that you can do, uh, uh, that Esau is doing, to deceive the people people can walk again they can talk again they can see colors all right they had a chronic ailment you know now it seems as if the ailment is going away there was a, a a big old famine in the in the world but they saved the world from the famine by way of of uh creating a new monetary system this is how they're going to try to talk about this shit but ultimately this is a deceiving thing and everybody that receives is going to be destroyed. Now, this is 2 Thessalonians 2 and 8. It says, And then shall the wicked be revealed, whom Yahweh shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan, with all power, signs, and lying wonders. What are that? That's those miracles that he's deceiving the people with. The lying wonders is his pseudoscience. All right, all of this technology, merging man with machine and, you know, uh, um, integrating them to the point where you're able to see augmented reality without wearing glasses, you know, without uh, 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 putting on a device. All right, you got things that are just popping up in your mind. All right. And you want to trust this man? Get out of here. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth, but they might uh, that they might be saved. And for this cause, Yahweh shall send them strong delusions and they shall believe a lie. See, so it's the Lord that did it. He blinded you and blocked you from receiving it. So if somebody can't get it, it's because Yahweh Bashmi Shai doesn't want them to get it. That they might be damned who believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. But we are bound to give thanks always to Yahweh for you, brethren beloved of, your, of, of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, because Yahweh hath from the beginning chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the spirit and belief of the truth. So if you can get this and you can understand it and you can see what it is, a thank Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, because ultimately, all right, he has allowed you to be able to see and to believe, but to the rest, he have blinded. So you're going to have individuals that are out there that are stubborn as hell, and they're going to take it, you know, under the idea that, look, I'm good because I haven't screwed any white women. No, I'm good because I don't believe in Esau's philosophy, you know, or I'm good, you know, because I'm not a Christian. All right. But all of the, the belief system that you have is under the tenets of Christianity. But anyway, that still ain't the MOTB. But you're going to take the actual MOTB 
because you have been deceived thinking that you are good and thinking that you're going to receive salvation until that hot ass fire has cooked your ass and turned you into, you know, the residue and ashes. So with that, I truly hope that this lesson was edifying our praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Peace and love, salutations and mercy be unto you true believers that are out there. A shalom and a Baba Bar. Kwan Bakiyam. Shalom.